Hello, or should I say, if I give up the seed I've been saving, doodly doodly do. <laughs> Apparently, one of my subscribers in a chap in a neighbouring town, Biker Paul, says that I sound like Gilbert or Sullivan when I introduce uh, my videos. What's he on about? I haven't got a clue. I'll put a light on. What big light on? Yes, I've been faffing about. It's raining. So I've been faffing about with... Uh, in fact, that's a thing. Bagger Paul posted some pictures from late Windermere in glorious sunshine. I've there got the sun up there and pissing down here. Well, drizzling. Anyway, I get to the point. Just for one, it's going to be a short upload. Uh, did I mention these mirrors from Global Bike Online? I'll put a picture up of what they used to sell. Five ninety-five for a pair of them. And I've had three pair and I've just broke the last one on the left. The reason being, because I worked, well, I was working two till ten. And the security light at work has been pinged out for over a month. And I stumbled, because there's a curb at the side of where I point my bike. Grabbed a mirror, and it snapped off the other one. Anyway, these are my backup mirrors that I got. It's cheapos. Off eBay. I did have these, I'll show you these in a minute. But yeah, these are like skeleton hands, and they didn't look this small. On eBay, they're bloody tiny, they're no good. I promised them to a scooter rider at work, I said you can have these, oh crap, I'm going to fit me all this spare pair. But I've just got these out, and I've never realised, I've never been on the bike, I've had them about two or three years. And I think they're ultra wide ones, what bloody bike was they before? Well, they're called Velosport, no, they're just in a packet. It's Philip Yule's Trime Centre. And I bought them thinking I'll put them away. Then I saw them, and the three pairs of them have lasted, uh, what, three years probably. And look at that. <laughs> if I fit them, there's no way I'll get it through the bloody back door every day. Look at straight. What are they, what are they for? If you're trying for touring a caravan or something, look at that. Madness. <laughs> Although you would get a good view, that wouldn't have your elbows on, would it? Where the hell? And I thought of giving them to that lad at work, but they cost 30 quid, 29.99. But what, what on earth are they for? If I had a garage, you know, if, I mean, I, I almost demolished this wall when I moved in, and I'm going to convert it to either two doors open outwards not inwards, outwards or have some kind of sliding door but I never got round to it it's only a breeze block I do it myself and it wouldn't really matter although even filtering, imagine filtering with them buggers on you'd be clacking them all day long not that I do a lot of filtering so, I'm afraid they're out of the question. If anyone needs any wide mirrors, let me know. But why would you need wide mirrors, unless you're about 40 stone? Anyway, so that's them. Back to the drawing board. I've just sent a message on Facebook to the shop. I said, do you still... Well, they don't sell them, because I asked before, but I've just sent a message saying, have you got any more back in stock? Because at 5 95 I'll get another three pair and they've not replied. Presumably that means no. I don't know. And I've been looking on eBay last night to see if there's anything else. I mean, the original circular mirrors. Even them, I've, I did I find some. I think I found some, but they were like 50 quid. And genuine ones will probably be £70 a pair. 
with these uh, blind spot convex, you know, whatever they are, convex mirrors, you can see more, I suppose. So I could put up with these. I mean, these are ideal. They're actually narrower than the actual bar ends. Although, like I said, they're more of a style rather than actually really seeing things. <sighs> it's adultery report, I think so. We've been watching the news and poor people in Italy, 300 people dead, and today there's been a bloody uh, passing, is what you call pedestrian footbridge over the M20, has been whacked by a lorry, and the bridge was under repair anyway, and the bike has been walloped by some other debris, broken ribs, it showed his bike on its side, and you forgot that on film. There's not many people with cameras though, is there? I always thought loads of bikers had them, but uh, obviously not. I'll go back on eBay, I think. If it stops raining, I'm going to go to the shops, because Oxford do some, you know, reasonable quality chrome round ones. But these are not good, I don't think. They're going to be very safe. So there we are. 